to Four Far Field Station. Today we're going to give you a mini tour of our field station and the surrounding area. This is our main building on Station The Lodge. It is right in front of the ocean, right across from Saddleback Key and Calabash Key. The lodge, like the rest of our buildings on Station, were originally constructed by RT Four Far and constructed with the help from local Androsians. They are constructed with Bahamian pine and limestone. The lodge is now used as a social place for our guests and is where we eat meals and have our lectures. We are standing in our dining area here in the lodge, which is where groups and other visitors eat all their meals on station. Usually it's just breakfast and dinner as we pack the field lunch to bring with us on boats or on vehicles when we go out on trips. There's a full coffee and tea station here as well, available throughout the day. Here we are in the main seating area of the lodge. This is the main area where our groups and other visitors like to spend their downtime when they are not outside. We have enough seats for lots of people to be in here at once, in addition to some great reading material. The ID shelf is where we house all of our identification books. This is where you can go figure out what you saw on the day's trip. We have ID books for fish, invertebrates, corals, birds, shells, and a few natural history books, and even more. We have a wide variety of magazines, including a few issues of National Geographic, that talk about Andros Island and the Bahamas. Behind me, we have the Archie Bar. The bar was built when Four Far Field Station used to be the Andros Reef Inn, run by Archie Four Far. This is also where we sell our Androsia, which is locally made fatigue fabric, and our IFS swag. All the profits that we get from selling our merchandise goes directly towards a science-based scholarship fund for local high school students. students, educational lectures or labs, this is where it all happens. We have a fully stocked specimen cabinet and lots of great maps in here that can help students get familiarized with Andros Island and the types of creatures they may see during their stay. We spend a lot of time here at Forfar focusing on experiential learning and try to do a lot of our education at our various sites both on land and in the water here on Andros. In addition to that, we love to give students presentations on subjects of interest before going out into the field to help familiarize them with the species and specific ecosystems around Andros. The ping pong room is located right next to our classroom and is another great place for guests to spend some downtime in the lodge. We have a ping pong table that was built by Archie Forfar, a great variety of puzzles and games, and even some things like sediment samples and preserved organisms on the shelves in here. This is also where we keep data we collect on trips. We like to keep track of what we find when we do our gonioliton lab, for example, and we have a computer where we have guests input their findings. affiliated shop and this is where we store all of our gear and is where students get ready to go on their dives. We offer dive courses during our Four Farm Marine Science Gap Year program and take anyone who is certified out diving during their stay if they want. Most of the dive sites we go to are right over the barrier reef and are about 40 to 50 feet. But we also do some inland freshwater blue hole diving at Cousteau's Blue Hole for advanced divers. here by the fire telling them the Archie story while making some s'mores. This is also a great place to sit and enjoy the sunrise or sunset and maybe even see some dolphins swimming into Stafford Creek.
split along four cabins and four motel units. As you can see, the cabins are split into two rooms, each with two bunk beds and a shared bathroom. Each cabin has electricity, fans, mosquito bug nets, and a private bathroom with hot water and a shower. The motel units were recently updated in 2020. Each has three beds in one large room shared with a bathroom and has the same amenities as the other four cabins. is the veranda. This is the perfect place to watch the sunrise or even the colors cast from the sunset on the other side of the island. We love to hang out here and just enjoy the ocean view and the breeze. We hope you enjoyed today's video of the station and for anyone who has been here before, hopefully it brought back some good memories. Be sure to let us know if you have any questions and as always feel free to reach out to us anytime on social media, by phone, via email, and we hope to see everyone soon.